Hello again. Now I'm going to solve question number 87, booklet B. Again, the question is question from complex analysis are not tricky one, they are simple enough. Uh, just if you have fundamental idea about differentiability and all, all those things. Here I read out the question if f let f is u plus i b an entire function under the word entire function but the penalty on c function where u and v are the real and imaginary part of f respectively. If the Jacobian matrix J A this is symmetric for all A belong to C and then the options we have to anticipate what can be F. F is polynomial, F is a polynomial degree less or equal to 1, F necessarily a constant function or F is a polynomial of degree strictly greater than 1. Now the keyword of this question is this matrix is symmetric. Symmetric means this equal to this. A i j equal to a j i. So, here given u y equal to u x for all a. So, I can write simply u y equal to u x for all x comma y belongs to R 2 or all a belongs to C. Now, but as f is entire u and v must satisfy C r equation. So, this implies u y which is equal to this is u y equal to v x this is v x but u y equal to v x with negative sign we know in C R equations what are the C R equations u y u x equal to v y and u y equal to minus v x. So, u v y must be equal to minus v x it is given u y equal to v x. So, here v x equal to minus v x this implies v x equal to 0. Now, the Remember the result, we have arrived at this result as sufficient condition for differentiability. Recall if f has f equal to u plus i v, u and v are possessing continuous partial derivative satisfying C r equations then f is differentiable here and then f dash z comes out to be u x plus i v x. By this and this is equal to u plus i, you can say this is u plus i v. Now, the derivative of entire function is further entire. So, this f is analytic, but v is 0 by this result. So, imaginary part of f dash z is 0 implies f is f dash is constant and this gives you result that f z is of the form a plus b z when f does it is constant that means f can be a pol f has to be a polynomial of degree 1 at most. You can easily verify when v is 0 that means v x 0 v y 0 so capital u x 0 capital u y 0 so capital u is constant if v is 0 and hence f does that is constant. So, what are the answer on the base of this f is polynomial correct f is a point of degree less than or equal to 1 correct f necessarily a constant function no of course not we have this it cannot be so and it is again strictly greater than 1. So, answers are 1 and 2. So, for the question number 87 answers are 1 and 2 it is a polynomial of degree 1 at most thank you.